So when I made my first tutorial video on the escape picking stuff, it did way better than I ever thought. And it really encouraged me to make more videos. So I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I've gotta make it as fast as possible for myself because I've got a pretty busy life. So I picked up this little unit, which is called the Movo AM200. And what this unit does is it lets you run two XLR cables into a single 3.5 millimeter thing that fits into most cameras. And I was really excited because this feels like a really well-built unit and it's got XLR1 mix and XLR2 on the back of it, which is really cool. So this sort of solved my problem, but it didn't solve my problem completely. And that's because the only thing that this unit does is plays both of the XLR signals back into the camera on both the left and the right channels. And what I wanted to do was to play it on separate channels because then when you're doing your video editing, what you can do is you can take the left channel, you can just duplicate it over to the right and the right channel and duplicate it over to the left, put those on two different tracks, and then you have independent control of the microphone sound and the guitar sound. And that is where this cable comes in by Jolgoo or Jolgoo, J-O-L-G-O-O -O on Amazon, of course. And it's got a red side and a blue side XLR. And what's really cool about this cable is it lets you do exactly that, which is run to the left channel and the right channel. How you hook this up to your camera, obviously you don't want a bunch of cables hanging off. You don't want to damage your camera. So maybe, you know, throw a cable tie on there or something uh, on your tripod to keep it level. But this cable, I tested it, it solves that problem. So let's hop into the editing process and I'll show you quickly how to go through and do what I'm talking about with audio. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. Here's our demo video. Now, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta deal with this audio. Now, Premiere's got a really, really, really cool feature that I love using and you can just hit right click and you can hit edit clip in Adobe Audition. That's not quite what we wanna do here. There's actually sort of a simpler way to do it. That'd be good for if you want to do compression, I can show you a quick compression workflow. But first thing we're going to want to do is unlink it and then you can hold alt and click and drag. And now we've got two copies of the audio right here. And now what you can do is you can right click and you can hit audio channels. And this is a routing diagram. So we'll just go left is right. And then now you see we have just that. And then we'll go audio channels again and then right is left. And now you see we have this. And if we play this back, you can see I'm talking, but it's completely overwhelmed by the guitar sound. Now what I can do is I'm just click and drag, bring this way down. Now if you listen real closely, you can hear all this noise and you can also hear a little bit of the playing in the background. especially the acoustic sound of the guitar just being purely picked up on the mic, but also any background noise. But this is um, a godsend if you bump a string or something. It's gonna be much quieter if you do any kind, of, um, any kind of audio work. And you can see I can do even fancy things like hold control, add a little keyframe here. And if I wanted to, I could fade in the uh, guitar. So that will definitely make your workflow a lot easier. So obviously you lose the benefit of having a preamp and all the fancy plugins and stuff. And when you do it this way, you could also you know, record on the DAW later and then sync it up again. Um, but if you have a better way to do it that is just as fast, I would be totally open to hear it. And I hope this video helped you. And once again, the uh, cable is like the JL Goo. I'll put a link to it in a picture. Get that cable, it works. And see you in the next one if you like this and you wanna see more videos. I don't really plan on doing a lot of like tech tutorials like this, but this was just something that was so important that I figured I would make a video on it because so many people want to make videos for social media and all that. So like, comment, subscribe helps me out and see you in the next one. Peace.